happened last night. I should not have eaten that burrito. Okay, let's go get some waffles. Happy Halloween, everyone! Welcome to Limbo. Uh, yeah, not much to say right off the start, actually. Uh, basic backstory of the game. We are name redacted, I suppose. This kid actually doesn't have a name. I just call him... Well, actually, I don't call him anything, really. Though he does kind of look like one of the Shadow Heart list from Kingdom Hearts. Uh, basic backstory, we are here in Limbo, which is, I believe in one religion or another, a place where unbaptized children go or something. I'm not sure the full religious backstory. And we don't know why we're here. Well, I do because I've played the game before, but essentially, to summarize it, we're here looking for something. I'm not sure what, but we are. Basic controls are uh, D-pad for movement, obviously. X for jump, square and circle for use. Uh, but that's using the PlayStation 3 controller. Uh, that's control for use on the PC and the arrow keys to move. And on the 360 version, it's something else. And this is actually a bit of a unique Let's Play for me to do in terms of the way I'm doing it. Because I'm actually recording the game in one to two sessions in entirety. I'm just going to splice it up into 15, 20 minute chunks, probably at the most. So yeah, we're on a boat. <laughs> not much. It's just the beginning part, so there's not much to say, but trust me, there will be plenty to say later on once we get to puzzles. Although right off the bat, I want to say I love how atmospheric this game is. The art design alone is awesome, but the music, when we actually get to some later on, just is great. Uh, by the way, I should mention, while running's fast, jumping is just slightly faster. Ah, uh, nothing like walking through a forest at night, right, guys? Ooh, I wonder what those things are. Yikes! Yeah, this game's deaths are rather graphic. Uh, that's probably because of the art direction, because they can get away with so much, because they're technically censoring it already. But anyway, when you get near something that you can use, uh, Limbo Boy, as I guess he is, well, move his arms to syndicate that. So make sure you do that and uh, don't die. Luckily, this game is rather generous with, ge with checkpoints. Oh dear. Oh, go hoo hoo! Actually, wait, no, I need to come down here anyway. I thought I was about to die. Well, whatever this thing is, it's dead already, so I feel no shame. Oh, that's a really stock, but still gross sound effect. Uh, I do believe there is some reason that we start off in a forest, but I'm not going to get into that until the credits later, so yeah. Listen to that ambiance. Oh, oh god. Oh, this isn't death? Huh. No, go, 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 no, 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 no. Whew. It's one really hairy boulder, actually. Uh, the Limbo Boy here is a one hit point wonder. If anything touches him, he will die, and he cannot swim, so. Yeah, this is gonna be a trial of survival. Case in point. Dead. Uh, this series is actually probably not going to have that much editing because the checkpoints are so numerous and generous. And it should probably not be that long of a game either. Uh, maybe an hour and a half at the most. A hour 40 at its limit. Uh, this was actually originally released as an Xbox exclusive, but uh, they were able to do some stuff. I sp oh, actually, it's more like it was so successful 
And they ported it over to games for Windows, Steam, and later the PlayStation 3, I believe. Anyway, there's a rope over here that I jumped off. Ouch. And I'm back here. Anyway, as I was saying before I died, there's a rope here, and you might notice just to the right that there is this weird, white, shiny thing. This is an egg that you crush. There are seven of those in the game, and when you crack them all, you get a bonus level, if I recall correctly. Now, I've never played said bonus level, so I'm not sure what it's like, but I encourage you to, if you like what you see, buy the game yourself and uh, try to find them all. The, I've only ever found two, and they're pretty taxing to get as it is. Anyway, now that we knocked this log down, we can use it as a makeshift raft. If I could push it all the way, that'd be perfect, though. <laughs> I do believe you count as being dead in water as soon as your eyes get uh, submerged, but I'm not entirely sure about that. Now then, one thing I'm going to point out right now, if you look on the branch up there, you can see a bear trap. That's something I missed, and probably a lot of people missed on their first playthrough until fairly soon. Oh dear, giant spider. That's terrifying. How you doing, buddy? Being creepy? Great. Uh, note, uh, as it's probably very obvious, if you get stabbed, he will kill you. Hear that clanging? Now it's fallen over. So let's not die! And bring this over to our meet our good friend over here. Now I would normally freak out because, you know, giant spider, but I, all I can think of right now is it, so I have no real pain in doing this. In fact, this is kind of cathartic. Back off and run now, because that third lag goes for an outright stab immediately. Ah, that's right. Run. <laughs> I've defeated the spider menace. Uh, now, it's going to seem like I know all the puzzles, and that's because, well, first off, I do... But, uh, I haven't played this game in probably close to six months, so I'm probably going to be slightly rusty. Oh, gee, that's spiderweb. Gotta go, gotta, oh, got, no. Why am I slowing down? Nope. Oh. Well, I can dance at least. Oh, hello there. Um, gotta go, gotta go. How this isn't killing me, I'm not sure. Then again, maybe he just has my shirt or something. Well, we're a cocoon. Eh, it's nothing I'm not used to in my bed. I do believe you will just slowly fall out if you just wait long enough, but the quickest way to get out is just to wiggle. And welcome to the hardest section in the game. Uh, you're shuffling along in this spider web. Uh, noteworthy, you want to hold down jump because you move farther doing that. However, just walking does do this. You're going to want to use those both in tandem. Oh, no! Oops. <laughs> eh, luckily, I'm right back here. Yeah, the only times I'm going to make a big cut is when I have to redo, like, an entire puzzle or something. Like I said earlier, I love the ga this game's ambiance. The music is really well done. Uh, the, the studio that made this game is Play Dead Studios, I believe, but I'm not sure if they made another game since. I think they are, but I'm not entirely sure. Okay, gotta push the boulder, and then jump in the opposite direction. Yeah, that would kill a person. Well, actually, it makes sense with the kid, because the, the kid's only like 8 or 10 years old. Which explains why he's a one head point wonder, really. And time for some lost labyrinth zone. Uh, you do want to be quick in this section, because, um... Well, our old friend's back. 
Uh, I do believe everything beneath me is either water or spikes which impale you, so uh, don't fall down. Oh, thank you. And I'm free of the web, yay. Though I uh, still have some dandruff by the looks of it. I actually kind of like it, it's like a little ponytail. Hello person, how are you today? Don't worry, that's actually not a person. If you look carefully at its joints, it's just a puppet to scare people off. Jump off. I do want to mention that the bear traps, no matter how where they touch you, when they kill you, your head pops off for some reason, and that doesn't really make sense. Oh, great. Platforming. That I failed! Ooh. Gross. Okay, I'd like to return that previous statement. I'll cut if you either have to redo an entire puzzle or if you have to walk a small distance. Because I was just before the little bear trap. It's always when things fall on you that you always get stressed in this game. Because uh, the, while the boy does walk fast enough, it's at times kind of a slow enough pace where you're like, oh god, no. Apparently there's Indiana Jones uh, haters around, which is strange. In fact, that's one thing that this game kind of does miss, is at least some sort of narration, like uh, some background stuff you could unlock after the game to at least explain partially what's going on, but, eh, nothing. Okay. Well, you're not threatening at all. And no wonder there's other people around. But now I am the spider. <laughs> I can terrorize all the people. That was a flaming tire. Okay, apparently we're in Turbo Man stage. Great. It notes that's Mega Man 7 Turbo Man, not Jingle All the Way Turbo Man. There is a grand difference. It's also a really loud fire. Then again, I'm not sure what my volume settings are right now. Uh, fun fact about this, actually. Uh, this is actually a Let's Play I've attempted to do multiple times throughout the years. Uh, the first one being back in 2012, if I recall correctly. But I just, every time kind of failed. So if you're seeing this, that means I finally had a successful take at it. Okay, yeah, that's not a puppet. Okay. <laughs> Admittedly, uh, probably one of the more fun things about this game that you're kind of going to be missing in this is this game, if you don't know the puzzles, is a lot of trial error. Hey, let me in! Come on, guys. The game is a lot of trial and error, and you will be missing that part out, but eh. Just have fun getting immersed into the atmosphere in my, hopefully, decent commentary. Why is the camera... Oh! Oh. That's pleasant. This is one persistent spider. In fact, uh, if I recall correctly, uh, the spider is why the guys are trying to kill us. It's because we're bringing it to him. Uh, to them. Uh, hey, buddy, I could use a little help here. If you could please just uh, do that, thank you. Oh, thank God I made that. Uh, this game's jumps are kind of wonky at times, but I don't know what else I'd expect from a... 10-year-old kid to be able to jump. I'm just used to Mario. Huh. Have fun down there, a-hole. Although it looks like I'll be joining you shortly. Um... Oh, uh, this is perfect. Ha! Just as planned. I swear to God that wasn't an accident. Although that poor spider just lost like three legs. Eh, yeah, deserved it. Uh, 
Okay, what section is this? Uh, I will say, uh, this game is divided into chapters, and whenever you find a little section you slide down, that's generally the ending or beginning of another one. Generally being the keyword there, though. Hey, buddies! How- You are one resilient spider, though. What happened to the rest of your legs? What you gonna do? Fail, apparently. Got your nosy. I can't tell if it's dead yet, actually. Uh, obviously, the leg's still twitching, but... Well, mind you, I think getting your arms and limbs torn off would kill you, but I can't tell because of, well, it's kind of just a black shadow. A dark shadow, even? Nah, not nearly enough Johnny Depp or hokey acting. But, it's dead now, thankfully. I would not want a giant spider tormenting for the rest of my life. That would not be fun! Hello there, sir. How are you? Doing just fine, I hope. I do like how you can kind of see, like, the remains of a civilization, or at least the tribe here, because that's a pretty good attention to detail, because we essentially may have just ruined those people's lives by bringing that spider in, but, eh. Can't make everyone happy. Uh, pushing most crates is automatic, so you don't need to worry about holding down the button for that. And uh, the kid does have a good amount of reach to him when he jumps, so you do have leeway with your jumps, at least. Uh, oh, this section. Notice these weird little things in the water. Those might become prevalent. Just gonna need to use your body, sir. What in the hell is Raccoon City? Um... You had too much to live for? That's kinda depressing. Uh, I need you. How you doing, buddy? I'd save you from the poisonous water. Because really, that's the only reason I could expect these kids drowning within five feet, is just it's got to be poisonous. Anyway, buddy, I'm going to need you to check out the traps ahead. Uh, Come on, you can do it. Oh god, I don't want to go with you, though. And that's why. Uh, that is obviously death if you get trapped in that, so uh, don't. Keep in mind those things at the top there for later. It might be prevalent. Might be. In fact, uh, this game does its foreshadowing rather well, and there's another dead body. Okay, this section's kind of evil. This isn't a switch. The areas surrounding it are. However, this little thing in the middle is a switch. The things surrounding it aren't. Clever little. Anyone else your tribal horn? Eh, it's probably nothing. Or it's me dying. What? That? Eh, eh, might as well. Oh! Okay, unless I forget that's there. <laughs> Alrighty, this time with less death, and then some running away. You are not a platforming master, sir. You are an idiot. Well, he tried to be smart. Uh, one thing I can never tell is whether or not these traps here were set up by those tribesmen or not. Uh, later on, it becomes very obvious that they didn't set some of them up, but uh, it's kind of hard to tell which one's which, honestly. Okay, ladder. This is this puzzle. I need to come down here and do something... No, I gotta say, though, this kid's pretty strong to be able to bring something this big with him. Uh, is that all I do? Yeah, no, I actually have to do this, if I recall correctly. There are some puzzles that I'm kind of fuzzy on, but that's just due to the... Actually, no, wait, never mind. 
Uh, I just remembered it. I do need to have you all the way at the right. Essentially, the way this puzzle works is those saw blades there are death. However, we need to still pull this rope down so we can open up the door. Hold up so you don't get pulled into those very slowly moving traps. And uh, that means it's done being pulled. Fall down. And uh, hope you timed it correctly. Yeah! I think you do have to swing in order to get to this next one. And be able to make it all in time. Go, 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 go! Oh, Felt that brush on top of my head. <laughs>